back to my channel. My name is Tanika, in case you are new here. My channel focuses on fashion and travel and beauty and all the things. I am on my way. I'm on my journey to living a luxury leisure lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Hermes collection. I think, I think I have a bit of a collection and I want to share some of the things I love most from the brand with you all. So let's get into the video. First and foremost, I am wearing the Zimmerman dress that I picked up last summer. I wore it in the South of France. I'll probably wear it in the South of France again this summer. And I love it. It's easy. It's breezy. It has a little bit of, I think last summer I said it made me look pregnant, so I didn't like it. But you know what? <laughs> I don't mind. There's room to eat and all the things. And I love, love this dress. Okay, first up is my Constance bag. This is my first um, Hermes bag from the, um, like the Birkin Kelly Hermes line. Um, and I love this bag. I actually sit this on my shelf with the rest of my uh, luxury bags, if you will. Bags that I'm wearing most frequently because you can't see, but behind me is also like 50 more bags, but this is just like the more curated portion of my bags. Um, I'll come up just a little bit to make sure you can see it. But I love the Constance bag. It is such a good, good bag. Um, I love that it is a crossbody bag. You can also fit so much in this bag. It is just like, it's such a wearable city bag. I think this, it comes in gold and it, but I would totally rock it like that. I think it's so perfect. And I can wear this with like white button up top, some, you know, denim jeans. I would even wear these with like my chucks or I would wear these with my espadrilles or anything just like hopping, walking around town. I would totally wear this. And I think it is such a cute statement bag. The pop of color is insane. It's just... I don't know if it's doing, you know, it really justice here because I'm doing this in the daylight and I have the ring light and a lot of things are competing, but it's such, such a good bag. And I just really appreciate this bag. I love this bag. I'm totally obsessed with this bag. So this is my her bag. I've had this for over a, well over a year. I got this in Hawaii. It was one of my very first videos I ever made on, um, YouTube and it's such a cute bag. It is considered like the summer, you know, Birkin bag. It kind of has a similar like this scrunch side silhouette. It is a canvas bag. It's not made of leather. I think if you're going to the beach and you want a cool bag, this is the one. It does tend to hold its value. It doesn't like go up that much in value unless you have like one of the like limited edition ones. I do see the orange ones go a little bit slightly more than the other ones but again it pretty much holds its value maybe a hundred two hundred dollars more but it's not like the Birkin the Kelly and the Constance bags that are just like you know you can't those bags are super super um they appreciate so so fast so I love this bag I think it's super cute I haven't worn it that much what's funny is I actually like the insert a little bit more for like a beach bag again it's a bag I only think to wear in the summertime when I got it I was like way more obsessed with it because I didn't have a Birkin or a Kelly or anything I ended up getting like I think the day I got this bag was no no, no that's not true I'm getting Hawaii and France mixed up shout excuse me but I love the bag super cute there is the leather at the top I think it's such a cute bag I love the her bag and so I do have it. Do I regret the her bag? Do I regret spending thousands of dollars on canvas? Of course. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't? But am I going to keep this? I'm probably going to keep this for another year just to see if I get my wear out of it this summer. But I think outside of this leather, it's, it's made really, really cool. But I think that I don't know if I would, you know, I feel like I should, I would rather just play I hate to say this, but I would rather just play um, the Hermes games and get one of the bags that appreciate really high in value, like the Constance, the Kelly, or the Birkin, rather than, you know, just go ahead and spend a little bit on this. Now, okay, now let's get into my Kelly bag. 
So this is my one and only Kelly bag. I am obsessed with this bag. This is my absolute favorite bag. I picked this up in France uh, secondhand. It is one of the secondhand bags that I picked up. It is a vintage bag. She is a little bit older than me. I think she came out in 1982, okay? And so she's 40 years old and we stand her. We love her, we adore her. Again, I got this in Paris at Collector Square. I love Collector Square. They're not paying me, they don't pay anybody. Um, I bought this with my hard earned money. So the interesting thing, because it was the resale value price, it wasn't as exorbitant as it was in the United States. Like in the United States, they're like $20,000. But the Kelly and, you know, this same Togo leather, which I love, that is, you know, gold hardware is, you know, easily, again, $20,000 in the United States. I think this bag retails for like ten dollars or $11,000, like brand new. I purchased it a little bit more than that. And it was, it's still like a lot for a bag. You know? But I purchased the bag, even though I walked away, I went outside, I called my husband, I was like, I don't really know, but I purchased the bag because I couldn't stop thinking about the bag, even like for 10 minutes, all 10 minutes I was outside. I wanted to give myself time to come back, but I didn't. I totally purchased the bag, am obsessed with the bag, love the bag. This is in a size 32. It's Cellier, which is the structure for Hermes. I love Cellier. It is my favorite, favorite kind of Hermes bag. It is Cellier, which is my all-time favorite kind of Hermes bag. I love Cellier. I love Cellier bags. I think they're just so, so stunning. They are so gorgeous. They are so perfect. They are so beautiful because I just love the structure and the bag is just so well done. There's not a scratch in sight. There's a little bit of discoloration, which I think you can see on the camera. You usually can't see it in person, but there's just a slight discoloration, which is why it was a little bit cheaper. It also comes with the strap. I think that's one of the reasons why I really love the Kelly. I also really love the 32 because you can fit so much inside of it. I think it's just so stunning. I also picked this, um, it's like the extra long like twilly up. So this is just one really long twilly and I have it out right here. I put a little bow there because it can go on for ages. I've also worn this like around my neck. I've worn it as like a, a belt. I've worn this a few different ways. I picked this up. This was like an airport purchase. I believe I picked this up in France. It was an airport purchase, so it was duty free. It was like $100, $150 cheaper than you would get it in the United States. But love this bag, obsessed with this bag. This is my all time favorite Hermes bag. Okay, let's talk about the world famous Iran sandals. <laughs> I am a fan of the Iran sandals. There are a bunch of dupes out there. I don't think they're a must have if you're like, you know, not really like really invested in the brand, trying to build a relationship. There's a ton of dupes out there. Do I love the quality of the Iran sandal? Absolutely. I think it's great. I think the quality is there. It is like there's no cushion at the bottom. So it's low to the ground. You, real ha you will have to get it resold at some point if you wear them like I do. I get my wear out of these. These sandals are costly. They are costly. But for me, because I travel abroad pretty frequently, I try to buy most things abroad. And so I've purchased these sandals twice. In the United States, let's see how many pair I got. One, two, three, four, five. So I purchased two in the United States and I purchased three outside of the United States. And um, they're much cheaper outside of the United States. Like you can get these for 400 US dollars, especially if you have like points at Harrods, you're in London. You can actually use your points towards Airman's purchases. Whereas in the United States, like, if there's an Hermes at your department store, I know for in, in New York City and you have like points, they have some exclusions, but not the case at Harrods. So that's just a little FYI if you're trying to save money on these sandals. I do like the quality. I think the quality is there. Um, This is a little excessive. This is a little excessive. Nobody needs this many of the sandals, okay? But she's a material girl living in a material world and so she does happen to have 
lots of these. And so I love these, especially the yellow pair. That's obviously my favorite, uh, especially coming up on the summertime. I love the, you know, Hermes gold. We love the gold. This goes with one of my bags that I'm gonna talk about. So it matches pretty perfectly. Um, I love the orange because I think orange on dark skin is like a no-brainer, absolutely, 100%. We wanna do that all the time, all the things. Um, the pink are, they're probably my least worn pair. Well, I guess the yellow, look, I'm looking at the bottom to see. <laughs> um, the pink are my least worn pair because they're 37 and the rest of these are 36 and a half. And, um, they just slide a little bit. My feet are narrow. These are narrow. So it kind of works out a little bit, but these don't really grab my feet. I will say I can walk around in these when I'm on vacation. I can walk in the sand in these. Some people treat them like they're precious cargo. I get it. They're expensive, so they won't walk in the sand because they're leather, all the things. But like, I mean, I spent the money on these. I'm going to purchase these. You know, I'm going to wear, I'm actually going to wear these. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. The white ones are my least favorite because they just stain so horribly. I've used soap and water to like clean them, but I'll probably take them to the cobbler. And I just think they're just a little bit more high maintenance than I wanted some sandals to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to throw my sandals on and whatever, but all white sandals are like this. So it's not like unique to them. Do I regret purchasing Oran sandals? No, no. I don't regret them. I get my cost per wear out of them. I use these all summer long. Um, I don't feel cheesy for wearing them. I don't feel like they're played out. You know, sometimes on the internet, you can see things frequently on the internet and you think in real life you're gonna see them. I've maybe seen maybe like five people with these sandals on in public when I've had them on. I don't, you know, and I live in New York City, so the density is there. But also when I'm on vacation, I don't see that many people with these sandals. But the internet will make you think that, you know, oh, everybody has them, oh, you know. And if you're a fierce individual, you know, you can feel some type of way. I don't feel any type of way. I bought the sandals, I want the sandals, I bought into it, and so I'm gonna wear the sandals. Whew, I'm a little out of breath because <laughs> I just ran downstairs and I almost forgot about these because they were like by the door, but, um, I <laughs> I love these Hermes like dad sandals. I was it was like a real fat no for me when it came to dad sandals. I bought these in Spain in Madrid and they were the absolute last pair. Uh what size are these? I think these are a 36 and a half. That was one of the reasons why they weren't selling like nobody was buying these. I think they're technically considered like men's shoes obviously they're genderless shoes but um i think they were in the men's section i tried them on i was not convinced but i was trying to get a birkin so i was like okay i'll take them let me tell y'all something i did not wear these shoes for a good six months i mean it was summertime when i got back to new york city i i had so many opportunities to wear them it just this is not my this ain't my thing you know what i'm saying i was like i'm not a dad sandal girl it just doesn't make sense. Some people pull off the dance handles really well. It wasn't, it was a no for me, but y'all, I don't know what happened. I started walking around in these dance handles and these are so, 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 so comfortable. So I have been rocking these. Now, I bought these for like, I don't know, $700. Not nothing like the US conversion. Now, mind you, at the time I went to Spain, um, you know, it just opened to Americans. It was open to like people from the UK. It was still, you know, what was going on, but it wasn't like, you know, there weren't a ton of people shopping. So it was like me there trying to spend the coins. And so they were like, oh, do you want this? Do you want that? Do you want this? So I was like, okay. So um, these retail or like the resale value is like 2K. I think they also went up in pricing online, um, even on like on the US site. But, you know, after I'm done with them, I might get them cleaned and resell them. But right now I'm actually really enjoying these. Okay, let's talk about the dark horse. <laughs> the dark horse of Hermes, which for me are the scarves. I just love the scarves. They, to me, like bury me in an Hermes scarf, okay? 
the craftsmanship is just so on point. I can understand why they are a, you know, they are a scarf house. I get it. Now, here's the thing. This scarf is dirty because I used it to tie up my edges. Yes, I did. Okay, talk about Bougetto. Yes, I did. You want to know why? Because that's who I am as a person. I'm not going to stop being myself culturally just because I have some beautiful things. I use this all the time. I have uh, washed this with some of my like laundress, very like sensitive wash in our washer downstairs. I don't send this out to like the laundry service. I wash this at my house, okay? I keep my eyes on her. And um, I've worn this as like a crop top. I've worn this in videos as like a head wrap. I've worn this so many kinds of ways. And ladies and gentlemen, her. I'm obsessed with her. I love her. She is absolutely divine and perfect. And that is true of all of my Hermes scarves. So I'll pull a few out of this drawer, but I think I have four, maybe five of these. Um, this is one of the very first ones that I got. Um, I got this well before, you know, I was even on the journey. I started collecting scarves way uh, before I started collecting bags. And I thought that's where I was going to stay because I'm just such a fan of their scarves. I like scarves in general because I think they're just multi-purpose items. So I adore these scarves. Um, I love them. They're so cute. Again, I wear them as tops. I've worn them like around my neck as a scarf, but to like cover up something. I've worn these as head wraps. I've worn these like, you know, outside. I've worn these as head wraps, you know, like to wrap, lay my edges. It's just like a million ways to wear these. And I just love the print. The print is just really there for me. Uh, I have another one that's not dry, but I'll insert a clip of me wearing it. I think one of the ways I wore this, that piece online was when I was in Ghana, I wore it as a head wrap. It is so divine. It is so beautiful. And I actually use it with my Dior book tote. I like put it on top to cover, you know, cause the Dior book tote is open. So I usually just like put one of my Hermes scarves on top to kind of close it, especially if I'm putting it up, up above. So this is one of my scarves. Love this scarf. Um, I don't wear this scarf as much, but it obviously reminds me of the continent because of the colors and the animals. And I think some people say it reminds them of Asia. Obviously they're similar wildlife on those two continents, but oh my goodness, it's just so stunning. I'm a you know, I'm a scarf girl. Um, before I was able and had the privilege to afford to purchase these kinds of scarves, I was purchasing scarves from the Goodwill and also getting scarves from my grandmother who was such a scarf girl. Um, so I love these scarves. I just love these scarves. And I will also say each of my bags, most of my bags have twillies on them. Here is another twilly that I have that I adore from the brand. Um, I also use these twillies on other bags, not just on my Hermes bags. Um, I also love this one. I just recently picked this up when I was in Windsor at, in the UK. I went to the Royal Windsor show and I really enjoyed this. Um, and I had to pick it up also because it was like, you know, significantly cheaper than in the United States. Also, the resale value for this is usually twice as much. And so these are, these run like 165, a little less than $200 unless they're like limited edition. But um, online, they tend to go for over uh, $200 on the secondhand market. So just think about that. And then in the UK, you do have to pay taxes, obviously. Um, and I do not play with the IRS. I don't play with GSA. So the girl likes to pay her taxes, but um, it is still cheaper in you know parts of Europe. Obviously it's cheaper in France because you don't have to pay taxes. You get your taxes back at the airport. But um, in the UK, it's not the case since they pulled out of the European Union. So that's something that you should keep in mind if you're, think if you're thinking about going to shop in the UK. You don't actually get like your taxes back in the UK because they don't belong to the EU anymore. I know, I know y'all, I know. 
So let's get into my Birkin bags. So, you know, I have four Birkin bags. I will go from the largest Birkin bag to the smallest Birkin bag, and we will talk about all the Birkin things. So let's get into it. Okay, she's a, she's a struggle big girl because I also have stuff in here because Oh, now I got $20. Oh, okay. Anyway, so this is my Birkin bag that I have taken with me on an airplane. I've taken this to like DC. I will take this to, um, you know, just like if I'm going to Milwaukee for a day. This is the Birkin 35. It is Togo leather. It's obviously in the light blue. And um, my husband got this bag for me. Um, he actually got it shipped from France, from Collector Square. We love Collector Square. And um, so we did, we had to pay taxes on the bag, of course. So we paid our customs fees, but again, way cheaper in uh, France than it is in the United States, even if you factor in shipping. Also, I feel like they tend to have a better selection. The quality is there. I feel like there's a, a lot of box leather Hermes bags uh, here in the United States. I probably will get a box, a vintage box only because I think they're just really, really pretty. But you have to be more delicate with the bag and I am not a delicate bag girl. This bag is going on the floor. I know, I know, y'all just died. My mama died watching it. But I'm just being honest. This girl goes on the floor. Miss Thing goes on, you know, up on the airplane. She just goes all kinds of places. And she already came used. And so I just love a big old, big Birkin bag. Five, six figures. Okay, that's what the city girl said. So we love this. This is going with me all summer long. Um, I love her. She is obviously under a 10k bag because the bigger Birkin bags do not go for as much you can fit you can fit so much in here this is the Birkin 35 you can fit I mean I can fit toiletries in here I can fit makeup in here makeup bag in here I can fit my computer in here I put my charger my phone I mean it's a big bag it's not as big as the Dior tote like the you know, regular size Dior toe, because now Dior has like four sizes of the toe, but it's like, it's a big bag. And so I actually really love the Birkin 35. I actually really love the Birkin 35. I don't know if they're gonna like come back in, but it's just something about this bag that just makes me feel good. And so I don't care if it comes back. I don't care if like, you know, people find it trendy or not trendy, or if it's like not gonna get a bunch of likes. I don't really care. This is a bag I'm gonna have for years to come. And so that's what I like about the bag. Now I feel like we need to insert more individuality into fashion. And um, this really does it for me. This really does it for me. It serves a purpose in my collection. It was a gift obviously for my husband. So I'm not gonna get rid of the bag, um, not yet anyway. And yeah, I'm getting my use out of it. I wouldn't mind getting a Birkin 35 in black, but this color, like, I don't know. For some people, it may look like it's washed out. It's like the palladium hardware. I'm a, I prefer gold hardware, not gonna lie, but I like it. I think it serves a purpose. It's a mama bag. Like if I had a baby, it's no shade. I know this is about to sound real bougie, but if I had a baby, this would be my diaper bag. If I had a baby, this would be my diaper bag. It wears so well. I mean, I love it. I love it. I take this with me to the shop when I'm getting my hair braided. And it's just a worn in good old used. It's a good old used Birkin. And I love it. Okay, this is my newest. This is my newest Birkin. My brand newest. My brand newest. Birkins. This is the only bag that I've ever gotten in the United States of America. Um, I got this as a gift from my husband. Um, he got this from The Real Real. This is my latest. This is my latest Birkin bag. It is a Birkin 30. We love the color. I wanted to get a green bag. Um, I have obviously a bunch of green bags, but I want to get a, a green, either a Birkin or a Kelly. I love the size 30. The size 30 is so perfect for me. It fits everything that I need. I love the, you know, size 30. Now, 
I always wear mine with the flap inside. I never put it on the outside and close it and lock it. I, I don't, for me, that's a little bit more matronly. <laughs> and so I'm not, you know, I don't want to do that. I think for some people that's like classic. For me, I, that those aren't the words I would use. So, but I love to put a twilly there. I love to decorate the bag. This is the perfect size bag for brunch. Again, Togo leather, all my bags. Yeah, all my bags are Togo. I think one of them might be Epsom. Now I watch all of them are Epsom and one is Togo. But it's like, they're, they're both very similar. <laughs> they have the like ridges basically is what I'm trying to say. And so, yeah, love this bag. I know I'm gonna get a bunch of use out of this bag. It reminds me so much of summertime. It is going to be my summertime bag. I'm going to be rocking this. This is my very first um, Hermes bag ever. And I got this um, at uh, the Luxury Depot in Paris. And um, I was trying to get a bag at the Fabwag store. And I did get an appointment. I did not get a bag. I was unsuccessful in purchasing a bag. And so I went back to get this bag. Now, what is very unique about this bag is the inside. So the inside of this bag has this like reddish color because it is actually a special edition bag. So one of the employees basically made this bag very like reddish burgundy color. It just reminds me of fall. Oh my God, I just really, I actually wore this yeah, I actually wore this. I wore this in the South of France. Yeah, I wore this bag with this dress. This was the first time I wore the bag. That was the first time I wore the bag was when I wore these two together. So love, love, love this bag. Again, it is a Birkin 30. I think it is a perfect size. Now here's the thing. It holds so much sentimental value because it was the very first, because of how I got it, because I like waited 24 hours to think about it and make sure that I really wanted to purchase the bag. I like held it first. I asked about it. Like there's just so much, there's so much that went into purchasing the bag that it holds so much like emotional and sentimental value for me. But here's the thing. I would sell her. It's no shade. It's no shade. I'm sitting on a lot. I'm sitting on a lot. I'm sitting on a lot. I just want to be honest with you. And so I would sell this bag for a like Kelly in this size, like Cellier and structured. That is my favorite bag. Like the Kelly Cellier is my all time favorite. This blue girl, she's so stunning. We love her. We stand her. And so that's one of the main reasons why like that, this bag is what made me fall in love with the Kelly Cellier bag. And so would I get rid of her for a Kelly Cellier? Yes. Yes. Yes, I would. Okay. This is my Birkin 25. She reigns supreme right now in these streets. She holds the highest value because I was offered this bag in store in Hermes. Okay. I was offered her when I was in Spain on vacation, you know, all of my bags, they come from other countries except for one. Okay, and so, um, you know, all my bags have a story. I won't tell the story here, but I was offered to purchase this bag after I purchased a lot of things. So, of course, I accepted and the sales associate didn't think I wanted the bag because I described colorful bags. And here's the thing. I don't mind neutrals. That is something that a lot of people don't realize about me. And I mean like warm tone, like tans and those kinds of things. I think they balance out some outfits for me. And so I actually really appreciate what they do to the wardrobe. And this is an example of that. So when I can't think of what to wear, I will grab this bag, first of all, when I can't think of what to wear, I'm grabbing this bag. But I'm just saying, come on this journey with me. So when I'm thinking about like, oh, I just want to throw on a white button up and some jeans and like my Oran gold sandals. I will grab this bag. I will decorate the handles and be out the door. Now, I know what you're thinking, Tanika. You do not be out the door in no white, you know, button up and some straight denim jeans. Yes, 
I do. Yes, I do. If you see me walking around the city, you will see me. That is really a uniform that I wear. Sometimes the top is like puff sleeve top. You know, it's giving you a statement and things and things and things. But I will walk outside like that. I will absolutely walk outside like that. Now, am I going to brunch like that? No. Am I going to an event like that? No. Am I going to go stunt on somebody like that? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. But you know, when it comes to a uniform, I will wear that as a uniform and add this to really just for the girls. Now, I love this bag because it is neutral. You know, it really rounds out my collection in a beautiful, nice way. I would love to get another brand new bag. Um, I think they're totally worth it, especially when it comes to resale value. And so I adore these bags. I love these bags. I love, 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 love these bags and especially this bag. I mean, she's a Birkin 25, so she is bite size. She is a Birkin 25, so she is bite size. She, she does not hold a lot. She is much smaller than people think. And so this is my hand. My hand is, um, I wear a size six shoe, okay? Six and a half on a good day. And so my limbs are not long. And so she's actually much smaller than she appears. I don't think people realize how small she is. Let me see. This is the Brandon Blackwood like bamboo bag. She's like slightly, you see? Like, I don't think people realize how small this bag is. It's it's a small bag. It's, it's a small bag. It doesn't come with a strap. It is a handheld bag. It is for me a daytime bag. It is, you know, when I'm shopping, um, especially when I'm doing my luxury shopping, when I'm going to do all the things, I love to carry this bag. Now, when I'm traveling, people always ask me, how do you travel with three or four Hermes Birkins? How are you doing that, Miss Ming? Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. So here's the thing. You see the 25? She fits inside the 30. Okay. You see that? You see that? The 25 is inside the 30. She's inside the 30. Wait for it. You see the 35? Okay, you see the 35 next to the 30? I just put the 30 <laughs> inside the 35. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'm, yeah. So when you see me at the airport like this, yeah. That's how she's traveling with these bags. Sometimes I will travel and put this bag inside of my like, you know, carry on. But first I will put it in a dust bag to protect the last one. I may put the smaller one in a duster too. It still fits in there. But yeah, that's how I'm traveling. That is literally like, if you see me at the airport, sometimes I will have a like a scarf on top so you can't, it's not as obvious, but yeah, nobody says a thing. Nobody knows, nobody, how will they know? They don't know. Okay, so two more things from the brand. I'll just set that right there, are my Kelly belts. So I love these belts. I've worn both of these belts. I keep them in the duster. They go in one of these like drawers because that's where I store my belts. And um, yeah, they're super cute. Love these Kelly belts. I'll just come up just a little so you can see. Okay, they're adjustable. So, you know, they fluctuate. And I just use these to cinch in um, like button up tops. Um, I have worn this one time at the waist with jeans, but it really wasn't giving. Also dresses, if you're a dress girl, if not, mm, not really worth it. Also, um, it would be cute on like a very like thin coat. I wouldn't necessarily wear this on a like thick coat cause it's just not, let me stop. I actually would do that. But yeah, love these two from the brand. Super, super cute, super, super cute. So next up are the two things I've recently purchased. I have actually not opened these yet. So we're gonna open these together. I picked these up when I was in London. We have another Kelly belt. Let's 
listen, I think, did I say the scarves were the dark horse? I think, I think the belts might be. I think the belts might be. The belts are so chic. I love a skinny belt and what she does for my self-esteem. I just love it. The way it just, it just wakes up an outfit. Again, when you talk about uniform, especially for that time of the month for me, I cannot think beyond a silk top and um, like straight leg pants. I can't think beyond it. I really can't. I mean, I know to add like pops of color in the accessories, so basic girl, I know to do that, okay? But I mean, I just really struggle when it comes to like, I don't know, when I'm like lethargic and can't think. And these belts for me, like these pops of color belts come in handy. I, this is my first um, Kelly belt by the brand in a color. And the color is just everything. I mean, it gives a little Pepto-Bismol pink, but in the summertime, it's gonna be hitting. Okay, in the summertime, it's going to be hitting. It's a little like, if you know, you know, like, you know, it's not as like out there as the big old H. I also don't see as many people like lusting after this. I think it's just, it's a little too like, you know, discreet for the people. I love it. I'm here for her. I am here for her. I'm a girl of a certain age. She is aging every day gracefully, but she's getting up there and she needs, she needs to make sure that she has these quality pieces that she can pass down eventually to her grand girls or things of things like that. And so I just want to make sure that I'm continuing to invest in these really high quality pieces. This belt is stunning. It is made so perfect. It is made so perfect, not a stitch out of place. The quality is there for me. She is worth the money again. I purchased all of my Kelly belts in other countries, okay? If you do not travel, I don't want you to be like, oh, well, I don't travel so I can't get a discount. There are ways, there are ways, honey, there are ways, okay? And so do what works for you, by all means, do what works for you, okay? Okay, next up, can you guess, can you guess, can you guess, can you guess, based on the box? I mean, I have so many up there. Um, can you guess, can you guess? Let's guess together. <laughs> Orion sandals another pair of Orion sandals listen I'm a fan I'm a fan girl I'm a fan they got me they got me okay they definitely got me people are always telling me about the dupes and the this and the, I'm like can you dupe the quality I'm like a texture girl I'm like uh I don't want to see the glue I don't want to I'm I'm a I'm a like quality craftsmanship and now I got the coins to back it up, you know? But but I'm not like, if the dupe isn't duping the quality, it's a no for me, right? Like I'm trying to get the quality. I want, if I'm paying, I don't care how much I'm paying for something, I want to have it five years from now. And that's, that's just the difference for me. Unless it's like something that I'm specifically buying for a trend, I wanna have my things, okay. Okay, these are my latest and greatest. They are in this like light rose color. They're called Rose Boys. Again, it's a casual shoe, vacation shoe. I wear these, you know, they're part of my resort, you know, staples that I adore. And so had to pick these up because I saw this color and I know this color goes in and out, but you can definitely check the website for it. Now, the moment of truth, does it match? Mm, not really, but we like a slightly, I don't know, they, it's, it goes, it goes. It's like slightly off, but I think it's gonna be so cute this summer. You're going to see this combination on me all summer. You're gonna see this also with my B25 because she's such a neutral color that I can decorate like with some of my pink twillies and this, and I'm just gonna be rocking this. This is going to be, so so cute uh for the summertime so that is the latest and greatest in my Hermes collection all right if you made it this far thank you so much i hope you appreciated this video that is my entire Hermes collection i think it is massive i think it is huge i think it's a pretty solid uh collection i think it's a pretty big collection um am i thinking about getting more sure the door is always open. I wouldn't mind like the teal, turquoise, Iran sandals, 
wouldn't mind those. Um, I wouldn't mind, obviously, more scarves. I'm going to be a scarf collector forever. The scarves are just impeccable. I also wouldn't mind getting bigger scarves that I can wear as like sarongs and things and things and things because I love it. To me, they are the dark horse of the brand. They bring so much stuff to life and they're just like multi-purpose items that I love from the brand. Hopefully you appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.